fight for that man? No! I'm not gonna be Miss First Runner-Up to her. I am not suggesting that you are First Runner-Up to anyone. But the thing is, I don't think Clint was either. Oh no, he didn't have time to do that. He was much too busy telling his sob story about the dear John letter he got from King. What he was doing is what men have done since dinosaurs roamed the earth. He was sticking his big fat hairy foot in his mouth. But I don't think Clint meant it the way you took it. You're wrong. He did. Of course he did. That man was a newspaper man for decades and if anyone understands the power of a well-chosen word, it's Clint. All right then. So if you went home right now to find him down on one knee with a few well-chosen words of apology, what would you do then? You know what? It's too late. I am not going to forget this. He only wanted me because he couldn't have the new or younger model. All right, honey. Have some pie. And think about this. If Clint is dumb enough to want some cheap new model when he could have a gorgeous classic, then I say good riddance. You want me to save Fraternity Row? It's a show on TV. Mr. Buchanan knows what Fraternity Row is. He's a devoted fan. You are? Well, of course you are. I mean, who wouldn't be a fan? All right, so you got to prove it. you got to show him who's boss. Roxy, I'm sorry, but if you think I have the power to keep a show on the of air... Of course you got the power, because your papa used to own it. But yeah, yeah, he did for a while, but he sold the rights years ago. Well, then buy him back. Now, B.E. is not in the TV production business anymore. Wait a minute. What does B.E. stand for? Buchanan Enterprises. Right. So Fraternity Row is an enterprise. So what's one more enterprise? You got room for another enterprise, right? Roxy, I wish it were that simple. Well, it is that simple. Either we keep on watching the show, or we're just going to be kissing it goodbye. Oh, yeah. I would like to keep watching the show. Well, then we got to stand up for it. All the fans have got to unite. I mean, we got to unite. we got to throw away our differences and just be there for each other. You know, like the way Lorraine and Flora, they united together to beat Butch. Oh, that was a Cracker Jack story, wasn't it? Oh, that was such a hell of a story, but there have been so many of them. I mean, it's been like 43 years. 43 years? It's been on that long? Yeah, damn straight. I mean, Fraternity Row, it's been with us through thin and thinner. We gotta be there for him. So you with me? Yeah, I've been doing double shifts for a week now because we lost one of our servers, and then this morning the dishwasher doesn't show up. Oh, so you need a waitress and a dishwasher. Any experience? Give me an Adam and Eve on a raft, hold the axle grease. What, what, what did she just say? She just asked for poached eggs on toast, no butter. I see you know your way around a diner. <laughs> yeah. I guess I do. What are you saying? That Stacy was there when Gigi died? I can't give you a minute-by-minute -minute rundown, but here's what I saw. I tracked Stacy to an abandoned house, and when I got there, I found her. She was passed out. I got my girl to wake up for like a second, but then she just passed out again. So I start dragging Stacy to my car, and then that's when I saw you. You saw me? Your car pulled up, and then you ran inside like a bat out of hell, and I figured if Gigi was in there, you'd make sure she was okay. So I took off with Stacy. I, I don't believe this. And then I, I finally got her to a hospital in Kentucky so I could keep a close eye on her. Doctors said it didn't look good, but I didn't give up. I went and saw her every single day, Rex. I begged her to open her eyes, but she just lay there, not moving a muscle in that bed. And that's how she stayed until you came here and told me different, you and your new girlfriend. I knew it. This was all about trying to win Rex's heart. No, Rex is not ready to give his heart to anyone, I told you that. And just because we shared some random kiss doesn't mean anything's gonna come. He kissed you? I kissed him, which was not a good idea. Why not? Because he's still in love with Gigi. But she's dead. dead. So? If he's not ready, he's not ready. So we're just friends. Okay. But how does this Kim Andrews fit into this whole thing? Oh, because she has some vital information about this scam that Gigi's sister is trying to pull on Rex. And Gigi's sister being this Stacey Morasco character. Right. And Kim won't share the information unless we get her out of prison. Which is why you need my help. Right. 
you have access to that original photo, which proves Kim innocent. I need that picture, Rama. Please. Hello? Chuck? Neela. Hey. I was starting to think I wasn't going to hear from you. I've had a lot of thinking to do. About me? Among other things. So what's the verdict? Are we going to go out or not? I mean, if your brother says it's okay. He already did. He did? Yes. So when are you free? 